This is Action Bronson. Welcome to Fuck That's Delicious. Got the 67 out, cruising through Queens today. I'm gonna take you on my New York trip. We're gonna take it to Sheep's Head Bay to my aunt's house and make a slam in baklava. We're gonna take you to Flavorville. We're gonna fucking take you to Fuck That's Delicious Town. Then from there, we're gonna head over to Williamsburg, hit up Milk Bar and make a unreal, out of bounds milkshake with the baklava and the bacon. Hey, I just wanna go fucking sniff some coke. Then we're gonna take it over to Queens, we're gonna hit Danny's house of pizza, I'm gonna go with the Mama Luke's in there, then we're gonna make a hand-tossed pizza. Look at that beauty. I'm gonna take you on a long ride to Flavor Town. You see this? This is the Ninja Turtle sandwich. Turtle power! Ooh. We're in Queens, New York, and we're rolling out on Fuck That's Delicious! <laughs> So we're in Brooklyn right now, my auntie's house. What a gorgeous day. We're right by the water. I smell the ocean. There's a gorgeous garden in front of the place. It's magnificent. I'm about to learn some of the homeland's finest foods today. Something from my childhood, baklava. Listen, I'm not making shit. My auntie's making it. I'm watching, I'm helping. You're not allowed to touch anything in an Albanian woman's kitchen. Men don't cook there, it's just, it's, it's unheard of. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of me like, uh, uh, what do you, uh, do you need me, do you need me to do, uh, what should I do, uh, what? All right, I'll just sit here and shut the fuck up. Come with me. Just let them know who you are. Hi, my name is Zana, <laughs> and this is my nephew, Marian. <laughs> I'm Zana. It's my cousin. It's a family affair today. We're making baklava. What do we need to make this baklava? We need a cup of milk, five eggs, walnuts. Mm. A stick. A stick, of course. This is a special Wait, baklava, This sir. is a special baklava stick. It's good to beat the children. <laughs> you remember that? Anything right. that was around, I got hit then, with. Then, cornstarch. Any oil, but I prefer corn oil. And flour. Where did we come from? We came from Kosovo, and 54 years ago, we moved to Skopje, Macedonia. In 1977, we came to United States. I think we were the first ones that came to New York, though, right? Yes. We were the first ones that came yes. here, and we opened the floodgates. My assistant forgot me. <laughs> How did they smuggle you in here? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to say that they might come Wait, after no, no. me. Wait, no, no, they're not going to come back. No, it's, it's over. They're not it's coming. It's over. They're I'm a citizen coming. now, no. Yeah, you're a citizen. <laughs> Once I got paid for my first thing, you know, when someone paid me to rap, I was like, this is too easy. Are you kidding me right now? It was just like... Shocking. Shocking. You like it, though? I love it, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Especially all that cursing and... By the way, this is done. So now we have to cut it in small pieces. Got to make little baby pieces. And yes. Put them into bowls, little bowls. Yes. Then we lay them on the pan. You have to let them relax for a little bit? Yes. Okay. So each bowl is one layer. One layer. But right. when I do it, I use five of them. Uh-huh. And I stretch all five of them in one. Oh, at one time. So does it become together? Together, but when you bake it, they separate. Oh, they separate they when fluff. you bake I got you. Yeah. You see the turning? You see how it's turning every other time? That's so you keep it in a nice circular shape. Butter keeps it from it becoming one glob of dough. 30 layers go in the bottom. Then okay. we put the walnuts, yep. and the other 30 layers, they yep. go on top. Okay. Once it bakes, it bakes individually, and that's what gives you those flaky layers. Let me give it a try. Come. Following instructions. But not great. No, no, wait, wait. wait. Right, see, wait see? This, is, this is the problem. Come here. What am I doing with it? Tell me. Leave it on the stick. Mm -hmm. And turn it? And turn it. Wait, no, no. What do you mean? No, no. It was hard coming up for me trying to be a culinary artist. The women of the, of the family do not let the men touch the stuff. <laughs> Don't. You see? you see how. The, the, no, 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 no. We wait to the end for no, the extra. No, we wait. Yeah, we have the extra one. <laughs> we have the extra one. Perfect for the first time. Not bad. Huh? Not bad yeah. at all. Now we're gonna do the cutting. 
doing these types of pastries. You need butter. It just makes everything more crispy, more delicious. If you're on a diet, this isn't for you. I was just gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't for That's why it's made only on special occasions. Exactly. Do you see that child right there? That's me. Check the shorts above the knee. Peep the thickness of the legs and the little chubby arms. I didn't change much, huh? <laughs> Look at this face. What the hell? I think I'm wearing Mecca. That's, that's a model. I could have been a child model at that point, yeah. These are the same sweatpants that I see like Schoolboy Q and like Kendrick wearing. They're all wearing these sweatpants. <laughs> it's so funny. What do you say when you see something like that? Fuck, that's delicious, huh? Look at this design. This is gonna start a worldwide trend in baklava art. You, you, know, you don't even give a shit. You I don't, don't give a goddamn. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> we have a half moon and a star which symbolizes Islam. Look at all these layers. It's embarrassing if you go to the store and you buy baklava and little filo don't do that. It's, it's embarrassing. For the syrup, we're gonna need five cups of sugar with two and a half cups of water. And the lemon, bring to a boil. When you press down, look at this, it's like swimming. It's in a pool right now. So every piece is gonna get soaked up. After five hours of work, voila. Voila. Baklava. Open. <laughs> this is mastery. Chefs train years and will never be able to do this. One, two, two three, four. That's delicious. There you go. How, that there felt good, go. right? Yeah. How good did that feel? <laughs> Tony, I'm over here on the side of the road with the 67. It's overheating. I got this broad in the car, she's 22 years old. What do you want me to do? We're gonna head over to Williamsburg and hit up Milk Bar and make a unreal, out of bounds milkshake with the baklava. The flavor profiles are gonna be out of bounds. The, there was 60, so she made 30 for the top, 30 for the bottom. Oh my Usually go about 100 if you're doing it for like a wedding or something like okay. that. But she whipped this one up pretty quickly. I just want to like hear the noise it makes when you cut into those layers. Dude, this is awesome. It's like cornflakes. It really is. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking of ways how could this be reconstructed and not just be the same old traditional baklava. I think we should try a cereal milk baklava milkshake, and then I feel like we play around with a few things until we settle on something. And we both have to settle on it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Come on back. This is where we pack everything. Amazing. The cookies are all cooling down in that walk in. Uh, I'm going to let you take a step into this. Just this is my type your... of room. I know. This is like my bedroom. Get in there. <laughs> I have to cover myself. I don't want to be indecent no, on yeah. camera. <laughs> You're glowing. All these amazing cakes. This is dangerous for me to be I in. Know. Like, I'm already a, I can see the a large man. Already turning in yeah. your head about exactly what I know. we're gonna do. We we'll get these super smoky bacon ends from, from a smokehouse in Tennessee called Benton's Bacon. Like the smokiest, meatiest. Do you ever put it on like a piece of Not bread? Not how smoky that is. It's ridiculous. You ever put it on a piece of bread? A little schmear? These are Ritz cracker cookies. Oh man. How you doing? You can't make things like this for fat kids, man. Oh. You're a drug dealer. I'm a drug dealer? You're a fucking drug dealer. We want to try out some malt. You think malt will work? Malt? I think we should at least try it. All right. We're back. 
I think we have to start with a good base, yep. and then we can start taking it in a few different directions. First, we just blend cereal milk soft serve and a little bit of cereal milk. I gotta be honest with you, I'm really like stoned out of my mind, and I'm just ready to eat every <laughs> single thing possible. I'm gonna get a little bit of our bacon fat. Hi. Alan Benton is the guy who makes these bacon ends that we render all this bacon fat from. This is him. I love him. I'm wearing a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little yeah. goes a long way. Yeah. You see what we have here? We have the cereal milk, the half moon, the crescent piece of the baklava, which only the head of the family gets. It's very special. We put a little bit of this rendered beautiful fat. It's like this cream. You could use this as facial cream. Anti-aging cream. This is gonna be sold when you walk in Macy's. They're gonna sit you down and facial you with this bacon fat. This is an exclusive. This is a world premiere. All right. It's definitely an art to making milkshakes. You can't just put it up there and let it go. You have to coax it a little bit. You have to maneuver. You have to baby it. When you see all this chunk. Woo! What color straw? Pink, please. Thank you. Get it. Did we do it? We hit it. Honestly, we definitely hit it on this one. This is crazy. Oh, I really thank you. I appreciate you having me here. Anytime you're bringing the baklava. Oh, no, this is yours. Are you serious? Yeah, this is for you. This is a token of my appreciation. Holy shit, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me. Amazing. We made an incredible shake. We met an incredible person. Just had a great time. I'm not cursing as much. I'm a real fucking gentleman. What do you want from my fucking life? You piece of shit. Chicken shit, pussy asshole, cocksucker, motherfucker, you. Fuck off. <laughs> We're in Kew Gardens, Queens. World's famous Danny's Pizzeria. About to get some baked clams. And I think I'm gonna end up making a fucking pizza right now. Let's go. I'm coming down, you gonna make one pizza for me? Yeah. This is the wonderful owner of this establishment right here. My man Sabre. Another fellow Albanian man. <laughs> Italian food, Albanian owned. <laughs> Los trapos, trae lo trapo. Necesito un mandil también. Well, más grande, ¿verdad? <laughs> Así, también o no? Chiculero. Ok, listo. ¿Cuántos minutos? Ocho. ¿Ya? Yeah? Eight minutes and that's it for the pizza? So why the fuck does it take like 45 minutes to get the motherfucker? Cuando tenemos line, tomo una modelo más. Un big clams, por favor. Look at that beauty. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Está bien o no? Bueno. Bueno? Okay. So yeah, I did a good job apparently. I did a good job. No, it's not that bad. I'm gonna relax and eat now. I think I did good. <laughs> not bad. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Está bien. Está bien, pero tuyo es más crispy. Eso más más delgadita es en hueso. Yeah, hueso. Como la verga. Wey, ¿dónde aprendiste a hablar todo eso? Trabajé con mexicanos con de Puebla. Beautiful. This is comfort food for me. Come here every day, see good people, get the best pizza in the world to me, go in on some baked clams, need a fountain soda now. Mm. The combo of pizza and baked clams is like, it's just a beautiful thing. Oh, congratulations! Ah, fuck, I don't even know where we are, man. Can I just take a hit of wax or what's going on? Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make getting high so much fun.
I'm over here in motherfucking Bayside, Queens, New York. Here with my man Dave Tavenon, one of the fucking illest dudes ever. About to do another banger on my hand. When I grip the microphone of steel that you just see, yo, yeah. Holy shit, look at all the fucking crazy tats he got. <laughs> look at the Arabic alligator on his hand. I'm done with giving dabs to people. I'm gonna, I told you, with the hand. I'm gonna have three layers of protection for my hands. I was shopping at an electronics store. Jared Leto was there doing a signing. How was his hair? I don't know, he's wearing a hoodie. It's kind of real weird, but he Douche. wore nitro gloves. Of course he, he met did. met everybody, which I understood. I was like, man, you probably meet like a thousand people. They all have like 50 fucking strains of the flu. You I'm gonna tell mean, you like, this, I'm not gonna front. This motherfucker, <laughs> yo, you'll give someone a pound and you'll sm like, you'll smell something like, yo, what the fuck smells no like bueno. <laughs> three day old sex? I'm cool on that. <laughs> like you'll he had it. his hand you'll in his it. asshole the whole time. <laughs> Wait, and then he took it out. <laughs> yo, what up, sir? Yo, you good? Uh. For all you beginner tattoo artists, if you see what this man's doing, the different colors are the shadows, I would imagine. Yeah, just kind of getting it blocked. Yeah, yeah. Bla you know, he's using his mind, his memory, <laughs> to know exactly how things are gonna look. Like, these are the dark lines, that's the shadowing, that's some other shit. When you go at it with a marker, yeah. and like, you kind of freehand where it's gonna go in. You get you a get better a, idea. Exactly, a better fit, more yeah. organic. It's not the best idea to be stoned out of your face. It heightens everything. So the only thing I'm focusing now is the pain. You just think of other things like getting your balls licked for seven hours straight. You're good, brother. We have two bangers now. <laughs> Look at this shit. I right? Look at that. This pain is not, you know, you say, what the fuck am I doing this every single time? Now it's time to eat some fucking chicken. We're gonna get some banchan, which is right down the block, which is Korean chicken. They also do a nice Korean dumpling. We got 7,000 White Castle burgers. We're ready to go. I went to Bayside High School, which is right around the corner. A lot of people I know from around here get fucking stoned out of your mind. You all seen Harold and Kumar. You drive for miles and miles and miles to find White Castle. You finally get there. And it's like, ha. <laughs> you eat, and then you shit everything that you've had in your body since you were six years old out. Think of mud coming down the side of a hill. That was descriptive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take a slider. Yeah. <laughs> Get in there, man. We're gonna go ahead and take the cheeseburger slider. We're gonna open it. I'm gonna take a spicy chicken and a soy garlic chicken. Then I'm gonna take french fries. We're gonna put dumplings as well. Two crispy vegetable dumplings. Here we go, we're about to put the top on. Very gingerly. You see this? This is the Ninja Turtle. Yes. Who are you? Leonardo? Yeah, because I'm kind of nerdy. Weird, I talk a lot. I'm gonna be Raphael because <laughs> I get mad sometimes and just fucking storm out of the room and just fucking fuck off. <laughs> Turtle power! Mm. This is jailhouse rape in the shower. <laughs> Eat after me, I want you to bite it. That's ridiculous. There it is. If he tells you to put the motherfucking tomato paste in and cook it till it's a brick, put the tomato in. Looks like I'm eating piss. <laughs> Fuck, that's delicious. See this crisp? Twerk that, twerk that, twerk that, twerk that, twerk that. I'm all about cardio these days. I'm fucking done with you. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs>